A key concern in the unrest in Kasasa district and the larger Ranzori region has been the mass recruitment of youth to work as royal guards in the Obusingawa Ranzoruru or the Ranzoruru kingdom. We saw them there naked and people were saying hey, they have unrolled them. That no. is not true. Ideologically we said remove anything which has a button on your body. No bullet will get you. <laughs> Talking, people are grouping, people are having guns. 21 guns were taken from here, from government installations. Around seven guns have never been re re returned back. Now, Banabudinia, which report can we give? So, my concern, Madam Chair, is that government is taking a slow pace in pronouncing itself openly on the problem of the Zoli region. A delegation from the Obdingia Wabamba, or the Bamba Cultural Institution, led by the Prime Minister Wilson Bumbulia, appeared before the Parliamentary Committee on Defence and Internal Affairs that is investigating the clashes. The result to be intention is the idea which has been planted in the youth that one day will have their own state. It cannot be underrated because it has prominently come up and as a committee we are strongly going to analyse that issue and also make our recommendations as a committee. In the same meeting, the officials also claimed that the Obsinga Warenzururu was running over 10 camps in Bundibujo and across the Renzori. From, from the border up to Toroko. Some of them which are still even functional to date, despite the fact that we have the pisos and the gisos in those areas, they don't report. It's important to note, though, that Ranzuru Kingdom has key culture sites in Bundibujo district. On their part, representatives of the Bakonzo in Bundibujo said President Tiwar Museveni made a lot of promises to Ranzuru King Charles Wesley Mumbere, and these have never been fulfilled. They said this has created mistrust and suspicion. Mumbere, our king, had immediately, after 2013, the gap has been widening between him and Museveni. And he has always, Museveni had wanted to show that he is the master. Eh? He's the king, he's the president of this country, and all of these Mumberes under him, they have to sub submit. And Mumbere had also, this is my picture, to show that even when you are president, I can make your life harder. There is a correlation between the two personalities, namely the Omusinga and the President. Um, this matter has to be brought on table. A dialogue must be encouraged between the two leaders. And number three, they, it has to be followed with the sensitization of the mass. In 2014, government granted the wish of the Abadingia and Babwisi, the majority occupants of Wundibujo, to have a separate cultural institution from Mwenzururu in 2014. But the Renzururu felt this was a move to undercut and weaken the Obsingawa Renzururu. The committee is expected to meet Omsinga Charles Wesley Mumbere, who is on remand for murder, and President Yoweri Seveni. It's not yet clear when these meetings will be held. Bondiwujo was thrown onto the country's social consciousness on 5th July 2014, when machete welding men attacked security establishments for reasons that remain unclear to date, over 90 people were killed. The suspects were later granted amnesty.